Hello everybody, Joe Zagacki alongside University of Miami head coach Al Golden. Hurricanes have completed their second scrimmage of the fall. A lot of scoring out there today. Coach, uh, what's your overall evaluation? I thought we had a good tempo. Um, we were in uh, great situations all day. I think the kids learned a lot. There's a couple of situations that uh, we didn't act correctly that we'll get we'll get that on film and, uh, and teach off of it and we'll improve. But overall, really good effort. And, uh, and again, a lot of those drives are starting in uh, you know, good field position. So I wouldn't worry about the points, but it did, it did create for a good environment and the kids were ready to go. It looks like uh, the last couple of weeks your guys are in the right spots. Uh, have you seen that kind of jump in execution over the last two weeks? No question. I mean, I, I, thought, I thought we ran the ball effectively today, uh, which wasn't as good last week. Uh, but I, but I really, you know, again, I think our completion percentage is where it needs to be. Uh, you know, I was really pleased with uh, with both quarterbacks. I thought they both conducted the, you know, the offense, made good decisions, and again, you know, Jacory, uh, you know, down by ten with three minutes to go to the game, and almost almost pulls it out again, and uh, uh, comes down to the last play. So uh, that's impressive, and uh, so you know, we have a lot of decisions to make over the next forty eight hours, not just the quarterbacks, but uh, you know, the travel squad, and then the two. I was going to say, nobody's making it easy, especially the quarterbacks. I think you have to give them a, a lot of respect, a lot of credit for the way they've competed because uh, it doesn't look like there could be a lean either way. Yeah, we can win with either one right now. I mean, I think that's what today showed. I mean, the last couple of days, it's really the, the competition has gone to a different level, but I really I was impressed with both of them today, the way they uh, the way they ran the offense, the leadership, and, uh, and again, uh, I don't even know if we had an interception. No, no turnovers. So uh, you got, you've gone through two scrimmages with one turnover. Yeah, well, knock on wood, right? All right. Um, they're young receivers. Some of those guys look like they're trying to move into that rotation as yeah, well. Yeah, they are. I mean, Rayshon and Phillip, you know, the big thing there, uh, Joe, is they, they caught our eye on special teams the last uh, seven, eight days, and, and uh, so they're getting more looks uh, to see what they can do. So uh, we're, we're pleased there, and, and I would say the same thing with old, Eduardo Clements. They did a great job on special teams, and now all of a sudden he's, he's getting more looks at running back. Uh, and I can go down the line. There's a lot of other kids. In that. Casey Rogers, I would say, on defense is in that same situation, showing up as a special teams guy, and that's carrying into more reps on, on the defense. I know we'll miss somebody, but in your running game, uh, Lamar scored a nice touchdown for you, but Mike James and Darian Hall, uh, Darian Battle to get some running time. Mike James ran really hard. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Mike's a good, uh, you know, he runs with his, his pads over his toes. He's always getting positive yards. He's really uh, bright and he's tough. But Darian has been, you know, one of the surprises of our training camp. He's come back in great shape. He's, he's looking a lot uh, like he did on, on high school film now, and uh, he's playing with a lot more confidence and, and uh, really impressed with the, the way he's picking up the blitz as well. Overall, defensively, what did you see, and are you, are you pleased with where your defense is right now? No, I think we're making progress. Obviously, we got to do a bit, you know, in the special teams, you know, we have to do a better job. We didn't have the special teams out here, so for placements, but we'd have to do a better job of making a longer field. In, in this scrimmage, I wanted to make sure, uh, you know, that we – we could move the ball and, and, and get the situations that we need to get in. So uh, there wasn't a lot of long fields there, but oh, we got to tackle better. I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, so any debate that we had on whether or not we need to tackle or more was ended here today because we, we need to continue to tackle and improve over the next you know, uh, 10, 12 days. Uh, but uh, overall, you know, if we were if we were live, there'd probably be a couple more sacks in there than uh, than we do when they're uh, a green shirt. Andrew Smith had a couple sacks for you. All right, you're two weeks away from uh, kicking off against Maryland two weeks from tonight. Uh, when do you think, or do you have a timetable for some of these tough decisions that need to be made? Well, we'll be watching it till you know, real late tonight. We'll be watching both sides, and uh, of course, we had a special team scrimmage two days ago. So, you know, pretty soon, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll decide on, on, on where we're going and uh, who we're going with, and, and then we'll, we'll commit to that. So, uh, hopefully by Thursday morning, we'll have a good idea. And finally, when do you start putting your focus on Maryland? Well, that's going to start uh, tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. You know, right uh, tonight is going to be dedicated to, to grading this. Um, and then we'll start on Maryland tomorrow, and then uh, hopefully uh, Thursday, if the weather holds up, we'll, we'll start to hit the field against Maryland. Okay, Coach, congratulations. Thank good you, job Joe. out here.